personal story is, is very hurting, painful, complicated, and also a long one. Most of the time I don't like talking about it because it pains me and I feel very, very hurted. So I've been I've been to this kind of life which is very harsh. Nobody to care for you, nobody to love you, nobody to, to show you any any kind of love. to stay with my grandmother. So when I come to grow up and be, become an old girl, I, I came to sit down and say to myself that I cannot be sitting with my grandmother and I'll be like a burden to her. So I decided to find something and do. So this is where I started working as a house girl. So the saddest part of it is once I was working in Kisumu, there was this, the owner of the house, the, the man, and he was a lawyer and came one day when this man wanted to rape me. Yeah, by that time I was still a virgin and that is how it happened. He broke my virginity. So after that, I was, I was very sorrowful, I was lonely. I keep on asking God, why, why me, why? Why should I go through this kind of a life? I ran out of the house and become a street girl. Oh, this is when a lady, uh, we, are, we are with her here now in Mtropa. She came and we started Okay, chatting, chatting, talking. So this lady promised me that, you know, if you go to Mombasa, there are so many jobs for, for young girls and ladies. I did not know what the job was, what kind of a job. It came one day and she told me that, put on something, we are going out. Yeah, that is how I started doing uh, commercial sex or prostitution. shida watoto wanaingilia na sikupenda kwao kwa sababu yeye pengine mimi mama yake pia ni mtu wa kubangaizi maana mm-hmm. mimi ni mtu pia kama wa kubangaizi lakini sina kazi mm-hmm. nategemea mwanaume pengine nipate mwanamume anisaidie na mimi nije nyi nile ni wale wao au pengine mimi kule si ndio mm-hmm. nikose alafu nikija hapa mtoto pengine analala na njaa kisha usubuhi pia akose ile riziki ndo tamona mtoto yua yua toka nje sasa vile akitoka kule nje ndo akija si ndio pengine akija mkupa shilingi 50 na kumbe mama hii pesa utamuliza umpata pe kwa sababu gani wataka kusevu wale wenzake na sha mimi mwenyewe hata ukimkanya mtoto kama wewe huwa hakusikii kwa sababu una ile shida ambayo iko iko nyumbani yangu ni kuzunguka ni yani huku ma club mm. 
It was very painful because sometimes you, you meet with different kind of men. Someone maybe is bigger, in a bigger, older than you. We have uh, most of the people who come are Germans, maybe Switzerland, and Israels. They like small girls, yeah, because they say that the the young girls know how to do it better. And I think it's like a kind of they're taking advantage, because when you're still young, you don't know how to to make judgment. You don't know how to how to, to choose, how to make options for yourself. So maybe if anything you're being told, you're just doing it because you don't have other options. There's nothing like love here. It is business because I need the money and he needs my body. Kia mwezi wa tatu, 23, 23rd, itakuwa na 17. Nileanza na, nikuwa na 8 years, hafu ndo nikajua zaidi, nikuwa na 9 years. Sijia yona wazazi wangu, nilijikuta tu nime... Yeni mmeisha ingi ya nasari, nikajipata na nyanyangu. Nkambo ulikuwa na parents, but isijia iwaona mama na baba. Mami ya likufa, likuwa mgonjo, nikuwa na mboibo na nyanyangu. Alafu na my daddy, pia kafa, alikuwa mgonjo pia. Ingi ya katika iwa liangono. Kuzi ndikuwa sina atha usi yote ambali zafanya. Na si kupenda kwa nguti ngingia pale. Bati ilibidi ngingie. Na nikiendelea nae. Sani. Ilikuwa tu ni marafiki zangu. Ulikuwa na nifundisha imu. Na mini kiona vila wanafanya na mina afanya. Ndo nipate kusaidika. Kidogo lakini sile kusaidua sana. Ile kupata tu chakula kula. Nini. Uitu kama hizo vidogo vidogo. Kwa ya niumiza sana nikifikiria, wana zidi kuumia, spendi. Ilikuwa mambo mengine mabaya. 
niwe na maisha mazuri yezekana Sana wangu na mtoto nilikuwa ni anti yake ni rafiki yangu. Sasa nikaona vile anateseka, mimi nikamchukua nikakaa naye kama mtoto wa rafiki yangu. Eh, hapa kuna maisha hapa si mazuri, ni magumu. Ni stosha hapa kuna shida mambo ya choo uchafu uchafu watoto hapo wengi wanaingilia mambo ya ngono hapa mtaani ni wadogo lakini hawana njia la kufanya lakini wengi hapa wanausa mili yao kwa kija wazungu wakose wasiana hatakuwa tena wakitembea biji biji kutafuta wanawake kukita kuangalia wanyama wa borini naonelea kama wangeza kuzuliwa wasirudi Kenya wasije Kenya tena kwa sababu anazidi kuharibu watoto wanakuja na magonjwa tofauti tofauti huko akimpa pesa akilala naye akienda kwao pengine amemdhurumu kimapensi akirudi kwao hata muona tena amemwaribia kitu kwanza elimu amemwaribia maisha yake sile pesa amemupa simeisha sasa hata muona tena amsaidia amemwacha mahali yoye kama angeza kuzuliwa aketi huko asirudi Kenya tena I can say I don't have a good name because Sometimes I don't even walk in the daytime because I, I'm afraid people will just say, oh, you are just a prostitute, you are nothing but a prostitute. Sometimes when I sit back and remember or flash back the kind of life I'm living in, it's too painful, but because I don't have any other choice, I have to do it. So I cried and came to realize that even if I cry, my parents will not be back and life must go on. Thank you. 